Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a program that changes kilometers to miles. <clears throat> now this program can be changed so many ways, it's crazy. All you have to do is change one little thing and I'll show you how to do that in this video. So the program is very simple, I'm going to run it now and then I'm going to take you through how it works. So I'm going to go up, let me just enlarge this, I'm going to go up, run this run kilometers and miles enter a distance in miles so enter a distance in miles let's say 10 10 miles equals 16.09 kilometers so we've got a function um that is called main just for simplicity reasons a function can be named anything now a function has code inside it and that code is code that is is what you'd put anywhere else the only difference is you can run it multiple times without rewriting this so instead of rewriting all that, all you have to do is do this. So you can write it anyway. So we've got miles equals float input enter a distance in miles. Miles is the name of the variable which the user will input enter a distance. It's a float because it can support normal integers like 10 and it can also support decimal numbers like 10.334 or whatever or something along those lines. So it's very useful. Uh, conversion factor. Now this is what we need to make the whole thing work. Um, the conversion factor is 1.609 kilometers um, in a mile. So that's what we are basically finding out on how to convert it. So you can use it very easily. That's why I use the number 10. So you can see in the bottom um, you've got 10 and times 1.609 is 16.09. So that's the conversion factor. And here in line 5 is where we're actually converting it. Kilometers equals miles times conversion factor. Print the distance in kilometers is kilometers. So you just put the name of the variable, which is the miles that you've entered. For example, 10 times conversion factor, which is 1.609, equals kilometers, which in this instance is 16.09. And then we just make the function run by typing out the name make sure you input brackets here because even if you want to try and um, name a function without brackets it shows up an error and if you miss it here it shows up an error as well so you just need to make sure you have brackets so let's run this program again now that you know what it's doing you can see which each step's happening enter a distance in miles that's what the first the second line is telling us to do this time we'll put 76 the distance in kilometers is 122.283999999999 and you can easily work this out for yourself. So if you want to change this program and add something else to it to convert it, um, you can do uh, miles to Fahrenheit or you can do the opposite way around of kilometers to miles or you could do anything like Fahrenheit to Kelvin, you could do quite a lot of things with it. So all you have to do is obviously change the text and then the conversion factor. Let's say you have something where the conversion factor is 1.5. You replace this with 1.5. Let's just say enter a distance in blah, blah, blah. So the conversion factor is 1.5. And this blah, blah, the distance in example is that. So we'll run this and we put 6. The distance in example is 9 because that's 1.5 times 6. So you can see how easy it is to change. So if you do want a program like that, that's what you need to do. So if you like this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Just change it a little bit. Try and customize it. Nothing too difficult. And yeah, make sure you subscribe.